Hey YouTube, this is Lady Till coming to you once again. And you know what time it is. La Regima Della Cristina. That's Italian for Queen of the Kitchen. Today we're going to make Grandma's Lentil Soup. I love lentil soup. And I could never make lentil soup. And every time I tried to make it, it was like almost a disaster I stopped trying. Until I realized two key points to making the best lentil soup. First, I want to show you this. It's a small disc and it's really a compact cloth. And as soon as you, you know, put it in water, it turns into a large dish cloth. Why am I showing you this? Because this is what a bean really is. A small compact disc. And when you put it in water, it's gonna fluff up with nice flavor. But what happens if you don't put the right juices in this little disc. When you fluff it up and it becomes a large dish cloth, it's going to taste like a dish cloth. So the key to the thing is season the pot. In fact, you can hear your grandma saying, girl, just go in there and season the pot. Just season the pot. Put a little something in there. Make it taste good. So same thing we're going to do with this little tiny bean. And today is going to be lentils. We're going to make sure that our pot is so seasoned that by the time we put it with nice water and other flavors and it fluffs up, it's going to be gorgeous and nice to eat. Nothing like this, right? So let's get started. I have some olive oil and some cloves of garlic in here, about four cloves. I'm going to make a big pot so you can put four cloves in there. You can go up to six cloves, but I'm not that brave right now. So we have four cloves of garlic in here. And what it's doing is just simmering. It's just simmering in there. So really the garlic is just, you're just taking all the flavor out into the oil. And so once all the flavor from the garlic gets in the oil and spreads through the oil, the whole pot's seasoned. You want to make sure you take that time. Don't fry it. You want to just simmer it. And all the nice garlic, you know, flavors is just infused with the oil. So we have some garlic and oil in here so far. And to that, um, as soon as our temperature comes up to speed, we have one onion cut up. We have any type of vegetable. This is the pot that you want to just throw whatever you have in the pot. This is your vegetable pot. Whatever you have in the kitchen is a vegetable, throw it in. Today I have some leftover zucchini from another dish, so I'm going to throw it in. But I also know that zucchini cooks really fast, so I'm going to throw it in at the very last and just give it a nice little overall, you know, semi cook to it. So I have a little crunch, a little al dente. So we're going to just throw in our onions, and that sounds wonderful. And I'm not just using any type of water for my beans. I'm going to use vegetable broth. And you can use chicken broth or beef broth. But this is going to be a vegetarian dish. So I'm going to use vegetable broth. And this is 100% fat free. But of course, it's always better if you make your own vegetable broth. So we have this here. And I have a couple of tips for you. Another key ingredient besides seasoning water is going to be my secret ingredient that we'll show you on part two. I also have potatoes and carrots if you like. Today I'm not putting any carrots in here. I like my carrots raw, not cooked. So, based on my taste buds, no carrots. But I'm going to cut this up, get the pot hot and sizzling and really get into our dish. So now it's time to season the pot. What do we have for you today? I'm gonna to throw in some bell peppers. I had that left over in the refrigerator. That's gonna be wonderful in my, in my dish. Adds another layer of flavors, you know. So here we go, some great bell peppers in the pot. And now it's time for a little bit of seasoning. I have some Jamaican jerk seasoning and it has some scotch bonnet and some other flavors. 
The reason why I like Scotch bonnet is because the heat comes at the end. It's not out there like pepper right at the beginning. It's almost after you swallow, you're like, hmm, there's a little warmth to it. So, I'm going to put my Jamaican jerk seasonings in there. And in a high humid environment, you know, sometimes your containers do get, get a little clumped together, your seasonings. So, that's enough. That's about a quarter of a teaspoon. So, it takes a little while to shake it all out. Next. Sassoon, one of my favorite ingredients. This sassoon is in a green package and it's tropical. Um, sassoon tropical has no MSG. So you want to kind of put that in there. Yes. I know I'm adding my season ahead of time. And you're like, well, how do you know it's going to taste? I've been doing this so long, I know exactly how much seasons to put in there and what not to put in there. I'm going to always add a little extra fiber. You know, there's nothing wrong with a little extra fiber. So a little wheat jar is coming in. doesn't add flavor, but it does add fiber. We have a little basil. Oh, I love this. Jamaican curry powder. A little curry to my dish and that is around a half a teaspoon as you see I just you know shake and dump so cumin for that smoky flavor another half or so and of course a little bit of black pepper black pepper adds that heat right in the beginning not at the end like the Jamaican jerk seasoning would Give this pot a stir. And it is definitely frying up real nice. And this is a good time for you to check your color to see how yellow it is, to see how bright it is, to make sure you have the good seasonings in there. And you can see the seasonings right in there frying up lots of onions and bell pepper the key to this is onions and bell pepper and these is two medium potatoes I like my potatoes a little chunky at this time you want to cut it up to screaming hot because this is right before you add your liquid and the best way to add your liquid, liquid and get the pot boiling is when the pot is screaming hot. That way it boils a little bit faster and saves you on time. I like Mentos. They're very good. And the reason why I like Mentos is because they cook so quickly. So this is a great meal to come and cook even when you come home from work because by dinner time, you will have a nice meal for the table. Okay? We're gonna give this one more good stir. Oh, this is looking nice. Check the color again. Right? It's almost screaming hot. That's when you want to add your cans of vegetable broth. One, two, and I am going to add some water because my key ingredient is going to thicken this up a lot. So you want to add just a little bit of water to balance out my cans of vegetable broth or you can use all vegetable broth. Look at this. This pot already looks so good. And I don't even have beans in there yet. This pot looks awesome. 
Let me open up my beans. I'm going to put a half a bag. Now, let me just leave you with this one tip before we go to break. Any bean gets old. I always thought that dried beans will last forever and ever. And that was one of my problems with cooking beans. I would just put, you know, uh, grab a bean off the pantry that was sitting there for maybe two or three years and expect it to just fluff up nice and pretty. It doesn't. In fact, this bean came out the freezer because as soon as I buy it, I pop it in the freezer to kind of stop that aging process. And so it wasn't, it wouldn't get old. And when I go to cook it, it'll be just nice and right. You know, um, it won't be hard and it won't um, be mushy and stuff. It will actually fluff up because when your beans are gets too old, sometimes it, no matter what you do to it, it would never ever get soft. So take that as a tip. As we go to commercial break, when we come back, we'll finish up this whole dish and we'll make sure you see the finished product. Before I do that, I want to add my secret ingredient, coconut milk. I told you guys I love coconut. So here you go. I have some leftover coconut milk out the can that I froze. And I'm going to put this right in the pot. This is about half a can of coconut milk. And as it dissolves, it's going to season the pot and flavor all the beans. See you later.